It's another matinee here with teacher Jenny joining me for another topic. This time we're talking about solving exponential equation. Now in solving exponential equation, we'll be needing the property of your exponential equation in which it is stating there that if your b or the base there is greater than zero but not equal to one, then we will have there b to the power of x equal to b to the power of y if and only if your x is equal to y. So how does we take it? That would simply mean that if your bases are the same, automatic your x and y, which are your exponents of those bases, will also be the same. So let's try to apply that one in solving for this particular exponential equation problem. So we have 3 to the power of x, which is equal to 81. So again, we wish to have our bases as similar base. And in order for us to do that one, we have to look for um, 81 and express 81 as the base of 3. So how do we do that one? We can go and use our factor tree in which we will be coming up with our factor which we wanted to be the base. So this time we have the base 3 because on the left side it has base 3. So this is now with 3 here. And of course the partner of that one will be 27 because 27 times 3 is equal to 81. Next we go for breaking up 27 into 3 and 9. And then 9 here will be break broken up into 3 and 3. So we've got here 3 as your common factor, which will be the base. And of course, how many times it appears here will be your exponent. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So that would simply mean that our 81 can be expressed as 3 to the power of 4. So notice your bases are the same. So we can say, using the property of your exponential equation there, that if your bases are the same, your x there, we can just equate that to the right side exponent. Okay? So this will be your answer. You can try to check it out by simply plugging in your value of your x to your original equation, and you would see that that is 81. Next, we go to our next problem. So we have 4 to the power of x equal to 32. Now, notice that this is base 4 and this is 32. If we are to look at base 4, we have here 4 times 4. This is equal to 16. And 16 times 4, this is equal to 64. So that's there's no way that the base of 4 there or the 32 there can be expressed in terms of base 4. So that is why we look for another base. For base 4, we can actually have it as 2 times 2. 4, 2 to the power of 2. And of course, we raise our 2 to the power of 2 into a power of x. Because again, 2 to the power of 2 is just the 4 there. You still have your x. So we had to raise 2 to the power of 2 to your x. Next, we have 32. Now, let's try to express 32 as the base of 2. So, again, we factor out 2. 2 will be partnered to 16 because 2 times 16 is 32. From 16, we can take out 2 here. This is 8. And then 8 here will be with 2 and 4. And then from 4, we have 2 and 2. So, our base here is 2. And how many or what will be our exponent will be that is based on how many times it appears here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is to the power of 5. Now next, we need to simplify this one because it has still uh, an exponent inside and outside. We are to use power to power rule or, or what you call as inside exponent, outside exponent. You are to multiply that up. So this is now 2 to the power of 2 times x. That will be 2x equal to 2 to the power of 5. Notice they have the same bases. We are going to get their exponents from the left side. We have 2x. That will be equal to the right side exponent, which is 5. We're solving for x, so we're dividing this by 2. x here will be equal to 5 halves. So there you go. You can plug it in if you want to and check it out. That will be really equal. 
So let's go to our last problem. So we have 125 to the power of 2x plus 1. That will be equal to 25 to the power of x minus 3. So again, we can express this one in terms of 5 because it's clearly seen that we can express this 2 in terms of 5. So we have 125. Getting out the 5 there, that would simply mean this is 25. And we try to get out or get the 5 out. So we have 5 and 5. So there are three fives there, so that means to say we have 5 to the power of 3 on 125, and we're raising that one to 2x plus 1. That will be equal to, for 25 here, we know that that is 5 times 5, so this will be 5 to the power of 2. And again, this is only 25, so we still have exponent, which is x minus 3. Then we try to simplify power to power rule everyone, so this is 5. Um, 3 times 2x, that will be 6x. 3 times 1, that will be plus 3. Then we have here 5 to the power of power to power rule again. 2 times x, that will be 2x. 2 times negative 3, that will be negative 6. Then we try to sim not simplify, but try to equate our exponents because we have now the same basis. So we have here 6x plus 3. This is equal to 2x minus 6. Then we move x to the other side and 3 on the other side. So this is now 6x minus 2x. That will be equal to negative 6 minus 3. 6x minus 2x, that will be 4x equal to negative 9. And then 4x, we're dividing this by 4 to get rid of that 4 there because we're solving for x. And then we have negative 9, we divide that by 4. So our x here will be equal to negative 9 over 4. So there you go. So you can try to have that one there, or you can try to uh, solve that by plugging or check that by plugging in your values of your x. So once again, this is your teacher Jenny saying good luck in every challenge in your life. Please take note that in every problem, you will have a solution for that one. And every repetitive uh, problem, you will have an upgraded solution for that. So once again, this is Teacher Jenny saying, please like and share my video and please subscribe.